Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. Today's game is between the Providence Friars and the Richmond Spider. And as we get set to tip off, let's take a look at two of the players who will be following tonight. And there is the starting lineup for each team. I think a lot of people don't really understand that the starting five isn't necessarily the top five players. It's who's in the game at the end. Let's check out how these teams are going to set the tip all around. Every game you have to pick your areas of focus best to figure out what's going to help your team win and you execute that. All right, number four, Providence, number 12, Richmond. Let's tip this thing off. Of course, those records and stuff uh, were from the 2008-2009 season. But all these rosters are updated for this year. Providence survived against South Dakota State, and Richmond pulled off the huge upset over Iowa in real life to get to this moment. Looking down low, knocking it down for Providence, taking the early lead. Richmond looking to back their man down, decides to back out of it. Contact. Oh, heading to the line. Foul on Hortzler, it looks like. Andre Gustafson, apparently a psychology major at the line. Knocks down the first one. Knocks down the second one as well. Tying it up here at two. The Friars now running the four on one. Must be alert on the defensive end when these guys get there. Moving the ball around, looking down low. Extra pass, getting double, fading away, gets rejected by Richmond. Ed Cooley giving his team some instructions. A minute gone by here in this first half. Moving the ball around. Good off ball movement. Over to Golden. Looking down low. Contact heading to the line. Ed Cooley. Of course, that was a different coach back in 2008, 2009. Observing his team. Tyler Burton at the line. Apparently a marketing major. Knocks down the first one. Three to two. Knocks down the second one as well. Richmond with an early lead here over Providence. Able to escape out. 3.37 to go here in this first half. Providence driving. Good, easy path to the lane. They knock it down. Tying it up at four. Richmond hasn't made a shot from the field, but they've gone to the line twice already. Looking down low, fading away, and knocking it down. There you go, Richmond. Getting that lead back up to being six to four. Providence moving the ball around, looking down low. Hortzler misses the close range shot. Richmond comes up with it. On the left side. Looking down low, it gets rejected though. They hang on to it. A little spin move heading to the lane, it gets rejected again. Getting doubled, able to pass out of it for three. Splash! Durham or Durham seven to six Providence with an early lead here by one Jump it inside. moving the ball around to the point guard nice little post move I'm not really sure why the point guard was doing a post move but it was nice just didn't get the shot to fall looking down low to Horsler knocks it down nine to six Providence on a 5-0 run here. Richmond's coach wants him to win these last two minutes. Ball at the top of the key. Oh, dangerous pass, and they hang on to it somehow. 
And knock it down. Bringing it back to within one here. Providence up 9-8 over Richmond. Looking down to the corner. A lob and a huge slam. What an alley-oop by Providence. That'll get the crowd hype. Five of eight shooting for Providence. Only two of four for Richmond. Let's see if Providence can continue this momentum with a stop on the defensive end. Looking down low. Good drive contact. Richmond heading to the line again. Foul on A.J. Reeves. Tyler Burton here at the line. Four points. Ari has a trip to the line. Knocks down the first one. Knocks down the second one as well. 11 to 10, 115 to go. Trey Burton, or Tyler Burton already has six points on one of one shooting. Been to the line twice. Horchler will spin move. Gets it to go. Nice move there by Horchler. Six free throws already for Richmond. Looking down low. Providence gets a hand on it, but it goes out of bounds. It will stay spider ball. Richmond looking inbound to here a minute to go in this first half. For three. Splash off the inbound. Tying it up here for Richmond. Driving. Nice, easy. Out to the lane, but he missed the layup. Richmond with a chance to get a quick two for one, though I'm sure they probably won't end up doing that, actually. But a chance to take the lead here. Good pass down low. And it rolls out. He misses a layup on that end as well. Back-to-back -back missed layups. Providence can hold it for the last shot if they want to do so. 20 seconds to go in this first half. Reeves at the top of the key looking down low. It gets rejected, so it will stay Providence ball. Oh, apparently it was out on Providence somehow. I'm not sure that was the right call. <laughs> but either way, Richmond ends up with it. 10 seconds to go in the first half. Oh, ball doesn't lie. Providence ends up with it. Passes to Horschler. Gets it to go. And that will be the first half. Providence gets a late basket to take a two-point lead into the half. Teams talking it over out of the break. Let's tip this, or I guess not tip. Let's start this second half off strong. Richmond gets it to start. Burton and Horchler are leading their teams in scoring with six. Kayo leading all rebounders with two. And then Reeves leading all assist leaders with two. Moving the ball around over in the corner. Looking down low, rises, fires, doesn't connect. Richmond, though, able to save it, and it will be with the Providence. Friars. Up by two. Let's see if they can extend the lead. Good defense fading away, but better offense. He knocks down the fadeaway jumper. 4.20 to go, blaze it. 17 to 13. Moving the ball around, pulling it back. Looking down low. Got the nice little hook shot to go. Bringing it two within two, 17 to 15. And a good take by Durham. Caught the defense sleeping there, 19, 15. Under four to play. Providence has yet to attempt a free throw after Richmond had six. Golden with it. Looking down low, rises. It gets rejected, though, by Providence. Richmond's coach wants them to look for the skip pass. Driving. 
Losing the ball, Horchler though in, ends up getting it. Fades away. Not able to connect. That was a bad shot. Richmond wants to play the half court tempo. But right now it is up tempo. Maybe that's why they're losing. Oh, give that guy a map. Where are you going? That's a backcourt violation. 19 to 15. Richmond's coach saying they want more ball reversal set, telling them to swing it. Moving the ball around, looking down low. Good pass, good find, good finish. Great basketball there. 21 to 15. This game's starting to get away from Richmond unless they can get a basket here. Point guard trying to back down Reeves. Oh, good pass down low. Good finish. Now they just need to get a stop on the other end. 21 to 17, Providence over Richmond. Richmond's coach saying they aren't stretching the D. Interesting choice of words. Durham with it. Over at the elbow, fading away. Tough shot. Horschler, though, gets the rebound. Puts it up, but he misses the second chance opportunity. Richmond with a good defensive stop. Richmond, two minutes on the game clock, fading away, bad shot. One forty-five to play. Portugal looking over in the corner, decides to pull it back. Fading away, that's Watson. Doesn't connect, but Horschler gets the offensive rebound and puts it up and in. 23 to 17, 128 to go, 127 now. On the right side. Crowd chanting for defense. Looking down low, heading to the line. Foul on Providence. Now Durham leading the way with seven points in the player comparison. Jacob Gilliard with only one shot. Gustafson at the line though. 1.20 to go. Not, oh, he missed the first free throw. That is not good if you're a Spider fan. Knocks down the second one, though. Making it a five-point game. And they're bringing the backcourt pressure. Able to escape. That's Durham. Oh, dangerous pass, and Richmond comes up with the steal. Uh-oh. Can they bring it to within one possession here? Oh, good pass down low, and a good finish. Richmond pulls to within one possession, three points. Let's see what Providence does here on the offensive end. Looking down low. And a charge committed by Providence. Foul on Al Durham. 51 seconds left. Let's see what Richmond has up their sleeve. Making a comeback here late. 43 seconds to go. Shot clock will be turned off on the next possession. Oh, he's up. He, he was open for three. Contact, no foul called by the refs. They swallow their whistle. Richmond needs to foul. Providence is up by three. Yep, there's the foul. 22 seconds left. We got to play the fouling game. Foul by Jacob Gilliard there. Nineteen point eight seconds left now. Durham with it. Almost a backcourt violation there. They almost turned it over. Fourth foul on Gilliard. And that will be the fifth for Gilliard. Fouling out with nothing. The fouling continues. That one to Horchler. 
Oh, they're able to foul the center if this one's going to be the seventh one. And he heads to the line. Noah Horsford. Eight points on four of eight shooting, but he hasn't been to the line yet. And he misses. Richmond comes up with the rebound. Uh-oh. All right, talking things over. It's Richmond. Let's see what they drew up. Pulling for three in the tie. Oh, no, it doesn't fall. Oh, they had their opportunity, but it's Hortzler. He missed the free throw just a second ago. Will he miss another one? Oh, he knocks down that one. Making it a four-point game. They're brought in the substitutes as well. They know it's over with eight seconds to go. And he knocks down the second one as well. 25 to 20. And Richmond still calls a timeout even though it's over. All right, Richmond talking things over with eight seconds left. Let's see if they can make some crazy magic happen. They're just going to let it go. They take a three. Splash to bring it to within two. And they foul, but the time runs out. Providence advances to the Sweet 16. Noah Horschler winning player of the game with 10 points and three rebounds. Check out those final statistics for Richmond. Golden with four, Kaya with nothing, Burton with eight, Gustafson with eight, and then we had Gillier with nothing. Then for the Friars, Watson with two, Horchler with ten, Menea with two, Reeves with four, and Durham with seven. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.